Uh, preparation is good, good. Uh, I'm doing my best to catch up. It's actually a short notice, man. It's it's a 28 days notice. That's why I got to do my best to catch up. How tough is that for you, getting the call this late in the day? Uh, have you had a situation like this before? Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. The last time I fought in Singapore, that was just like 29 days. But, you know, uh, martial arts is my lifestyle. That's why I always train every day. It's just that uh, it's hard. It's hard, you know, most especially short notice. They're hard, but they're not impossible. Yuya Wakamatsu put up a brilliant fight against Demetrius Johnson, perhaps the greatest flyweight of all time. Were you impressed by his performance against DJ, even though he lost? Uh, no, no, no. Uh, for me, I, I saw this kid. Is, uh, there's a good future for this kid. He is known to be a knockout artist. And I had a lot of respect to this kid. Uh, so it's not a surprise for me to see him or to see uh, DJ having a hard time with him. It's expected. It's expected. <laughs> yeah. So, psychologically, how... Do you prepare mentally when you're in the reserve bout so anything can happen? I mean, we've already seen two guys get injured in the tournament, right? So things can change very quickly in this Grand Prix. But how, how difficult is it to prepare mentally not knowing whether or not you're, you're going to have the chance to be in the final? Uh, it's not that hard for me, you know, because, I, again, I said martial arts is my lifestyle. And I train every day and I'm a complete a complete athlete. I, I train with, with my striking, my jiu-jitsu, my wrestling as much as possible. For now, I'm not focused with, with the guys like Adriano, Demetrius Johnson. I'm not focused with this guy. I'm, I'm so much focused with myself and trying to improve from time to time. That's the ultimate goal. And I hope it will bring me to the world championship again. So it's interesting you say you're not focused on, on those guys, but as a competitor and somebody who loves to compete, you must have thought about the prospect of facing Demetrius Johnson, whether or not it's in the final or whether it's not six months or a year from now. Do you think that would be a bit of a fantasy matchup, given that he is considered the greatest to ever do it in this weight division? Yes, of course, of course. Everybody wants to compete with DJ. Uh, and it's a privilege, you know, it's a privilege to compete with DJ. And most especially if you're going to beat him or going to defeat the guy, then it's a great thing on your portfolio. That's why I'm also looking forward to it. But for me, uh, it's like if you're going to average it 100%, I focus on myself. And maybe 50 or 60%, I focus on the other guys.